guys. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video. Um, I kind of like these videos, so I thought maybe why the hell not? Why not just make one? So yeah, um, this is my bag, current bag, my everyday bag, and I got it from Forever 21. Uh, it's a, a satchel converted into, well I converted it because I didn't like the fact that you can uh, disconnect the little satchel thing. Oh my god. The handle, I guess you can call it that. So I stuffed it inside the bag. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a it's a good sturdy bag, actually. I kind of a crap loose. Bloop. I have a lot of stuff in here, so let's get started. Well, we have little zippers in here. I don't have anything currently in there, so... First thing I'm going to take out is my wallet, which I got from Target. It's this pink little wallet. It's the cutest little thing, I think. And it's a little bowl. And I'm not going to show you stuff, but I have a few dollars in here. I have my Ulta smooch card. I revamped it. Well, I asked them to let me basically get a new card because I had the, the orange one. Excuse my pinky and my nails. I didn't get, have time to do it. I kind of cut my pinky open yesterday cleaning, so uh, that was fun. Uh, I also have in my car, my wallet a Sephora VIB Rouge uh, card that they just recently got me because I shop there too much, so yeah. But hey. Hey. VIB. <laughs> And I have my ID, of course, and my debit card in there. And then I have some receipts. This little pocket thing. So, that's that. I also have pinches, or bobby pins. I call it pinches. But, yeah, because, as you see here, I have really curly hair. And I have to have as much of these as possible because they're the only thing that tames it. So... I have an EOS uh, hand cream in here. Uh, what's this one? Oh my god, I can't even like describe the smell to this. But it's not mint minty. It has like a like a I don't know, it has a certain smell to it. The other hand cream I had, it smelled like flowers, but this one I don't I can't really pinpoint the name of it, so, but yeah, it's really good. I just use it a little bit, and this, I can use these, like this specific type of hand cream, like this little one. I can have this for a very long time. I had my pink one for almost a year, and I use that every single day, but I didn't over-exaggerate, like, like squirt it in my hand, like, get a little dime piece, and then it lasts me a very long time, so this is going to last me. What else do I have? Okay, I'm just in the pockets right now, and I have two lip products in here. The first one is the Maybelline uh, Elixir, I think this is called. Yes, and this is my favorite color of these, and it's in uh, 090, or the name of it is Rose Defined. It's a very pinky nude color, and I, that's why I kind of like it. It's such a nice color. I really, 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 really like it. And that's what it looks like. I really like that color. It's such a nice color. You could like lay it over uh, a nude lipstick and it would just be like an extra tint of pink to it. And I kind of like that. That's why it's my favorite one. The next lip product I had in here was a uh, Rimmel Moisture. The new uh, Moisture Renew in Coral Garden. Which is currently my favorite by them. And it's this color right here. And this is a nice color. It's very pigmented. And it will actually look really good with the Rose Defined from Maybelline. It's a, it's a nude, but it's not pinky nude. It's like more of a reddish undertone type nude. I kind of like it. can't really describe the really describe, but I kind of like that color. So I usually have this or that in my bag, just in case I want to touch a color. The next thing, or inside the other bag, 
I have my Baby Lips Doctor Rescue in Coral Crave. I'm guessing you're now getting the hint that I kind of like anything pink. It doesn't really have a color to it. Kind of like flipped you guys off, but it smells like Vicks, honestly. <laughs> that's I think that's the reason why I like it so much is because it smells like Vicks. And it's actually really, really moisturizing, actually. I, it's like the chapstick that will go to 100 for you real quick. Real quick. Oh. Anyways. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. I think that's the only reason why I kind of like it. Regardless that A, it is very moisturizing and B, it's it'll last you all day, basically. But I think the reason why I like it so much is because it smells like Vicks, so... Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's outside of the bags. I don't have anything else. I have a card thing. Uh, I have my iPad Mini in here. Because I had a long shift at work today, so I kind of wanted to be entertained. So I got my uh, iPad Mini. And apparently, I'm kind of playing the Kim Kardashian game. And it's my energy is cool. Hello. That's my. This is my screensaver. Lonzo Ray is life. It's my wife. For life. But yeah. I also have my charger. Yes. Yeah. I have my Beats headphones. Pink. Because pink is. Kind of my favorite color. Yeah. So, I have these. My boyfriend gave them to me for Christmas. So, they're kind of my favorites. Sometimes I carry like little headphones, like the ones that go inside your ears, because sometimes it's just too obnoxious to be wearing. So, I usually have them in here. I don't think I have them. No. I found a magnet thing to my main badge. Uh, no, I don't. I have my watermelon key coin chain thing. I have like a thousand pen. Well, not really. But I have a lot of coins in here. It's a really heavy. Like if you were to hit someone with this, they would they'll get hurt. Not knocked out, but they would hurt. I have a lot of quarters. Oh look, a dollar. I got you a dollar. Okay, yeah, so it's my coin. And I have my makeup bag in here. It's a bag that I got from when Ulta from my local mall opened up. And they were giving out like free goodie bags or whatever. If you bought a certain amount, and me being overly ridiculous, I bought, I want to say, a good amount for them to be like, hey, you know, you get a makeup bag. And I was like, okay, thank you. So, what's in my makeup bag right now is my the makeup blender that I use, bought recently from Real Technique, and it's all goofy and used because I used it. I have my NARS uh, blush in Orgasm. Such a beautiful color. Like, why was I not put on to this? Like, come on, guys. Look at that. It's so beautiful. It's it has like a, its own little highlight in it, so you don't even have to put like a highlighter on. I have the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in medium, which I recently just got. Kind of like it. Um, thing about it is, is that when you first apply it, it smells like. At a uh, suntan lotion, like SPF, it, you can smell it when you first apply it, and I kind of don't like it, but then it fades off afterwards, so that's good about it. Mm -hmm. I have my old, which is my favorite drugstore eyeliner in Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner in black, and it's kind of an amazing, it has a felt tip to it. And if you're starting out with eyeliner, I suggest felt tips instead of brush tips, like the ones like, um, 
I want to say, no, it's really, I don't know. Uh, I had an e.l.f. one that was, like, my favorite. A brush, uh, what I'm talking about is, I have, there's a brush type applicator for eyeliner, and it kind of looks like that. This is uh, from NYC, and it gives you a, a, if you're starting out with eyeliner, and you want to do, like, a cat eye or basically anything with eyeliner, I went and it's all preference, honestly, but if you wanted like a really good and some control to yours, I would go with a felt tip or, um, what else? Or gel eyeliner, like maybe getting used to that as well, because with the brushes, you can sort of kind of angle it so that you can have that cat eye and then just connect it while you're doing your cat eye. But with brush, you have to have, you have to keep in mind that when you're doing a eyeliner look, you're not gonna have that precise. It it sometimes will like it depends. Like this one's watery, but I had the elf one which was kind of really good. And it would get really inside on the top of my lid, but then when it would go towards where I wanted to do the, the cat eye, sometimes it would either like either get too thick or too thin and then if you want to build up, it honestly all depends. So I would go with a felt tip because you're really just, it's going to give you that precise cat eye that you would want or any eyeliner look that you would want. So this was my favorite um, drugstore eyeliner. I have also in here is the Color Tattoo Metal in Inked and Pink. I have this in here and that's what I recently got. I also have it on my eyes right now. The bummer thing about it was that when I first tried it, like literally the next day when I bought it, it broke. I don't even know how it broke. I literally go all, all um away in the morning and I'm like, yeah, let me just try this on. And I open it, it went crack. I was like, oh, this sucks. But I kinda like it. I have it. It's kinda cool. It's kinda kinky. I have a Real Techniques base shadow brush, which I use as a fluffy brush to basically to um blend in my my outer V. Or, or in my crease, but I use a different brush for my crease, which I'm going to show you right now, if I find it. Oh. Oh, okay. This right here is a Real Techniques. I kind of like Real Techniques. No, I don't kind of. I love Real Technique brushes. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush, and this sucker is dense, but will get into that crease and blend out what you need to be blended out. Like, it gets in there and just goes... Really blends it out. I really like it. I have the Real Techniques blush brush, which I use with my NARS uh, orgasm blush, and it's really fluffy. It reminds me of like a little rabbit tail for some reason. So yeah, is that what brand my cheekies? I have my mirror that my best friend got me. Um, has little doggies. It's kind of why she wanted it for me. I kind of love dogs. So next I have my creamy concealer of NARS. It's in ginger. Excuse my nails, because I didn't have time to do it. But yeah, this concealer is kind of amazing. I um I wanted a really good concealer, but then I didn't want something where it's gonna crease on me, and I feel like this concealer does the job. Um, so yeah, NARS. Next, I have uh, Maybelline's Dream Pure BB Cream in medium deep uh, tint. Now, this is a good BB cream, only the fact of the matter is, is that it doesn't give you coverage. It's a sheer, like very sheer. Like, you would have to load this sucker up for you to get some type of coverage. But it's really good, actually, if you want to go for like that natural look. So, that would be good. I have L'Oreal Silk Esteem, Silk L'Oreal Eyeliner in Highlighter or Illuminaire, but I'm guessing Highlighter. And it's a very nice rose color. And I have it right here. It's very cute, uh, good color if you want to go on under the uh, waterline because it's not as bright as white. Eyeliner would be, but it gives you that look for that you are awake. 
but not like whole week. Next, I have a Their Real Mascara that I had from my birthday little package that I got. And it's kind of dying. So, yeah. I have this. I have a pencil. Don't know why, but I do. I have a pencil in here. I have a Urban Decay brush that it comes with. And the palettes and stuff. I also have this one from the Naked 3 palette, so these are in here. I have a Urban Decay 24 Hour Eyeliner Pencil in Chaos, which is a really, really nice color. Right? It's not that silky like and creamy as the L'Oreal Eyeliner, but it does the job and it's very pigmented. It's a nice color, like if you want to experiment with color. You should totally try this one out on your water, uh, waterline, as well as maybe an eyeliner. That would be a fun look. I also have my Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. That's uh, it's all right. It's all right. It's not right. It's, it's amazing. That's it. I have a. That. I have that gal brightening cream. I've used it twice. No. I have a e.l.f. contouring brush and bronzer. Now, one day I went and tr like opened it up to use it, and it was crumbled and broken. Some broke into it and broke it literally. But this is what it looks like, and it's a nice color. It's St. Lucia, and it could be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm, this color, so it's, it's pretty nice, pretty good. I have a pan liner in here, because you never know, you never know. And that is, I believe, everything that's in my beauty bag. And we are Finito Benito with this bag. If you like this video, please have a thumbs up and comment below what you liked. Maybe request of something for future videos. I'm going to have another video for Wednesday for you guys. So subscribe, love me, and have a great day. Bye.